So good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I'm uh, just getting a little bit of a late start here, but it's just a beautiful sight on Cross Lake. And uh, we're heading to the south end of Cross. It changed our plans completely. Uh, we're going to stay at this site, which is one that we hadn't planned because it's just beautiful here. And then uh, we're going to go to the south end of Cross. It's pretty nice scenery in, in here. I'm back tonight. And then the weather looks a little sketchy for tomorrow. We're going to have to wait and see what makes the most sense for our activities tomorrow, whether we go around to Site 3. Uh, if the rain isn't constant, we just have to kind of use our common sense uh, and pick it up from there. So enjoy the day. Uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. <clears throat> I enjoy very much making these videos of my uh, outdoor adventures. You can help me build this channel by clicking the subscribe button, um, giving the video a like, and perhaps telling a friend so we can increase the viewership. Thank you very much. The cliffs at the north end of Cross Lake. So we're in to today's trip about 
I don't know, three and a half kilometers or so, and we've come upon these cliffs at the north end of Cross Lake. It's pretty nice. We're going to have a look at those before we move on to the next thing. Just having a wonderful day here in, in Cross Lake and enjoying uh, all the sights. Other than the seaplane, there's just no activity, no people, no nothing. You really feel like you're the only people in the world, and it's wonderful. Taking a lunch break here, <clears throat> a little spot right in the middle of Cross Lake. What a gorgeous day with a south breeze. So we're kind of fighting it going south, but that'll help us hopefully on the way back. So it's pretty nice here. We got another four or five hours of adventure <clears throat> before we go back to the site today. It's going very nicely. Just in this little bay here on the west side of Cross Lake. It's just amazing how it's all one body of water. And it's wonderful and we're nicely sheltered from the big wind today too. So it's all working out pretty nice.
We're just here at a Narrows at the south end of Cross Lake. We've decided that the dam and rapid is just a little too far today. We'd be coming back in the dark and we decided not to do that. The dam, dam is too far away. However, we're just uh, getting some water, taking a break, and then we'll head back to our campsite. This place here is totally modified as well. And there's lots of tent sites, so this would certainly be a nice site if anyone was ever down this way. And the dam's about 4k or so down that slot there. Now for day two, we were doing pretty well. Had a, about 20k yesterday and I was kind of tired with the big portage, but had a good sleep back in the good campsite. And then we'll be pretty close to 30 before we're done today, 27, 28. And so far the body's holding together, so pretty happy. And uh, we'll check in later on. So we're uh, on. Uh, Cross Lake coming back from almost, well, not quite to the river, down the Tomogamy River. We didn't quite get there. Went all the way up to the north end of Cross Lake, saw the cliffs, went down the other side, had quite a day. And now we're heading back. We've got about maybe uh, 5k to go to the camp. So we got a bit of big water here to cross over and the um, so if you see behind me, we've covered the entire distance that you can see behind me and maybe some more than that. This, um, going the other direction, we've got a, about a kilometer, 0.3 to go before we turn to the right and head up into the bay where we're camped. So hopefully everything's in order. Supposedly, according to the forecast, tomorrow is supposed to get wet and we'll hope that they're wrong or it's not as severe. However, um, the intention is to move our camp tomorrow to camp three on our plan, skipping camp two. And um, if that happens, then uh, we'll have to gauge whether we pack up early and paddle in the rain or pack up wet and paddle later. So just have to see just what they uh, think we want to do. And other than that, it's been pretty nice. So we expect to be back at the camp around 5.30, plus or minus. And uh, uh, distance for the day is going to be something around 27. And we've got a pretty good 15 to 25 kilometer an hour headwind for good part of the day uh, and we managed pretty well. So it's uh, been a really nice time and I'm pretty really enjoying this trip so far. It's come together well. Yesterday was just gorgeous, all the passages and so on. Today we had different kinds of scenery but it's still a beautiful day and, uh, and we get a chance to enjoy our nice campsite once again for another night and then tomorrow we'll see just how much an adventure it's going to be.
So in theory, this is our last night here on this beautiful site on Cross Lake. Tomorrow we theoretically move on to Portage Bay, but it's been wonderful here. What a great site. Makes camping a lot easier when you've got uh, a nice place to go like this. See you tomorrow. Day two then was a large loop tour of Cross Lake. We decided to do this so that we could stay at this campsite for a second night. It also prevented us from having to deal with significant winds out on the big waters of Lake Tomogamy had we gone to the southwest arm. So we started it at our campsite, number one, proceeded through near where we would have camped had we gone to the original site, uh, out over to the rock faces marked at number two. We then proceeded south on Cross Lake and through some interesting lagoons and so on. And uh, I've walked around number three. There was some interesting passages there. We got down to number four where we decided that we couldn't get quite to the dam and we decided to turn around knowing that we had to paddle back um, with significant winds. So the paddle back was up the other side in some fairly open water and then through a narrowing and then the last bit, our bay, back to our campsite. Now the wind was from behind and which helped, but because that made the water kind of rough, it was still a bit of a struggle because it wasn't exactly behind. And more so when we got to the campsite, it was quite a bit of a struggle to get out of the canoe um, because of the rough waves at the rocks along the shore. Uh, in Tomogamy, a lot of times getting out of the canoe is a bit tricky because the rocks uh, smoothly come down to the shore and there isn't really a, 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 an easier way to, to get out. And you have to be pretty careful sometimes. All in all, it was a beautiful day and uh, really enjoyed ourselves.